We have hundreds of Malaysians getting success with this training alone. And the exact same strategies, the one I'm going to show you, are strategies that I use as well. You might think this is pretty ridiculous if all of this was built from my laptop, working from home at cafes anywhere in the world. The same strategies I'm about to share with you today, okay? It looks pretty ridiculous, but I'm going to prove it to you in a bit. So are you ready for this same change that's about to happen? Just like all these people who have attended my free training and gotten results just like this, all right? If you've been on YouTube for quite some time, you may stumble upon a variety of advertisements. You know the ones that I'm talking about. They appear in almost every video you watched, usually before your favorite video starts. And sometimes, it comes up multiple times midway through the video. These can range from annoying mobile gaming ads to cringe-inducing ads from companies trying to be hip and cool. We all laugh at the cringe and annoyance these ads have, but at least they were innocuous for the most part. They don't pack the same amount of notoriety as the ads that I want to talk about today. Fake Gurus Selling Online Courses And believe me, they have a lot of infamies attached to their name. So, let's talk about them. Nobody knows exactly when these types of advertisements started existing on YouTube. But what we do know is how it came into prominence today. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. It's fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. In fact, I'm a lot more proud of these seven new bookshelves that I had to get installed to hold 2,000 new books that I bought. This video was titled Here in My Garage, and it was published on September 3rd, 2015 by a man named Ty Lopez. The video gained traction almost immediately, and it became viral in that same year. The view count says it all. As of this writing, that video managed to rake in 69 million views. And with it came the avalanche of fake gurus wanting to dip their toes into the whole fat while it's still hot. People like Dan Locke, Sam Ovens, John Cristani, and Kevin David are a handful of infamous examples of what we call fake online gurus. The worst part about all of this is that they managed to rake in millions of dollars in net worth for simply just selling a dream. These gurus have cultivated a following that has people who are more than willing to spend huge sums of money on courses peddled by these scammers. All because they wanted to be as rich as their respective gurus. But all they did is sponsoring these fake online gurus' lavish lifestyle. Out of your fucking fat mother's thigh, you stupid cunts! Even if they wanted to pull back from the mess they ended up in, more often than not, most of them just can't. They realized how much money they have invested in those gurus to make their dreams come true. And pulling out is admitting that their investment is all for nothing. To most of them, it's better to just spend more money on a dream that will never come than to simply withdraw themselves from the whole scheme. It is a textbook example of sunk cost fallacy. And that is how these fake gurus chain their followers to their products. It's a perfect storm for these gurus to manipulate, to make their followers buy more of their courses. And while the whole tsunami of ads from fake gurus spread in the United States like wildfire that year, it wasn't until 2018 when that phenomenon eventually reached Malaysia. And one of the people who will eventually try their luck in being an online guru is a man named Zerntan. And while admittedly he is nowhere near as scummy as the names that I've mentioned before, there are some things that he did that I want to talk about. A small time scammer is still a scammer, and that is important to keep in mind going forward. Because even if he is relatively a small fish in a pond, filled with online scam gurus from all over the world, big and small, I would still argue that he is Malaysia's king of online scam gurus. This is one of the most profitable stories you ever listen. Okay, what if I told you there was investment that never fails, okay? It always succeeds and always gives you 
good return 100% of the time, okay? Anyone that invests in it will be successful, okay? I went from struggling in a 9 to 5 job to having the time freedom to running a successful e-commerce business. And that's exactly what I want to do. What I'm doing is I'm doing a free online training showing you exactly how you can do this. It's actually not difficult to set up your own online store. If this sounds like something you want to do, click sign up now. It's 100% free. And I'll see you on the training. Before we delve deep into Zernton, we have to first understand a couple of things. Is selling courses on the internet inherently bad? How can we tell if someone is a fake online guru? And how does Zernton fit into this mold? Answering the first question is very straightforward and doesn't require a lot of research to understand it. Now, selling courses on the internet are not inherently bad. Most of the courses offered on the internet can be beneficial to us in the long run. If you want to learn how to code on Python or learning to speak in a different language, buying courses on the internet might just be better than the alternatives that you have at hand. With that said, you also have to be mindful of the pitfalls some bad actors employ to scam you. Always make sure that you buy courses from someone who is very reputable and authentic. Be sure to always put a lot of research before spending money on a course online. And if you have a feeling that the course that you're about to buy has a hint of shadiness to it, it's best to be safe than sorry. The second question also has a very straightforward answer. You just have to keep your eyes peeled on a couple of red flags. This includes but not limited to preying on your emotions and insecurities, bragging about money or financial freedom, creating scarcity and exclusivity, and unverifiable testimonials. What sets these fake gurus apart from legitimate people who sell legitimate course is marketing. And the biggest problem with fake gurus is their deceptive marketing. There's nothing wrong with selling a course on things like dropshipping but marketing it as a lifestyle product and framing it as though everyone who buys the course has a high chance of gaining financial freedom is just clear deception. That is what James Janney had said, and I wholeheartedly agree with that. And as we delve deeper into this video, we can see why that was the case. And at the same time, we can answer the third question that we have lingering above our heads. Those red flags that I've mentioned were merely just touching the surface of what lays beneath the character in question. And I'm going to talk about all of it today. So, let's start with a bit of context. Who is Zerntan? Zerntan is a self-proclaimed serial entrepreneur and the founder of Heroist, the company he used to offer computer consulting services to other people. He's been making rounds on YouTube and beyond for the past several months with his constant advertisements to sell his course. And one other thing to note is that the company he founded was legally registered under Surahanjaya Sharikat Malaysia or Companies Commission of Malaysia, SSM, on October 1st, 2018. Now, this is getting a bit more interesting. From what we can gather so far is that he was running a legitimate business as far as Malaysian law is concerned. And at first glance, he doesn't seem to be doing anything particularly wrong. So what gives? What gives is that when you take a closer look at his advertisements, you started to realize something about his desperate pitch to make his courses sell. He seems to promise a lot of extraordinary things to other people about making money online. There's one advertisement from him that claims, in his own words, that he adopted this system that has helped him generate millions of dollars of sales online. 
and that he is giving this knowledge away for free if you sign up for his free two hour online course. For a lot of people, this is something that would attract their attention. This sounds like an irresistible proposal that he was giving out. Who wouldn't want a free knowledge of getting an easy profit on the internet? You see, it's much more complicated than that. It's not that people don't want an easy profit on the internet. It's just that when some random guy on the internet claiming that he had managed to make millions of dollars of sales online, you can't help but scoff at him. Because ultimately, extraordinary claims have to be backed up by extraordinary evidence, and so far, we haven't found one from him yet. As a result, I offered myself to be the sacrificial lamb in all of this. I wanted to know whether or not Zern's assertions of him making millions online is legitimate. And I wanted to know whether he ticked all the boxes when it comes to being a fake online guru. The next logical step that I have to do is sign up for his online course. After wasting two hours of my life away, I want to share what I found in my opinions regarding his free online training course. But, as you may have already predicted, I don't have any nice things to say about it. Let me tell you why. To understand more about Zerntan and his company, Heroist, we have to start from the basics. The about page seems like a good place to start. We'll also supplement the information gathered there with his two-hour free online training course pre-recorded by Zerntan himself. Oh, don't worry, you didn't mishear that. His free online training course livestream isn't live, it's actually pre-recorded. That's three thousand two hundred sixty-one dollars and forty-two cents. So every single day, this uh, is sent to my phone. This is sent to my bank account. Okay, this is my dashboard live. I'm showing you live right now. Show you proof. Okay, so if you don't know what the currency exchange is, I'm going to show you right now. So one thousand sing dollars is about seven hundred USD. So every single day, at least seven hundred USD is being banked into my bank account. Okay, so I just want to show you proof that you can do it too. Okay. Right, I'm showing you live again. This is my own phone, okay, my own dashboard, okay. Okay, this is another one thousand three hundred dollars and thirty cents. Okay, so you can do it too. And on this webinar, which I'm gonna hop on my laptop soon, we're gonna explore how really, to do sir? this. Okay, I'm gonna show you step sir? by step how to build your store, how to get your shoppers from America. This and is how you not live stream. Every You've single day on your phone as before. well, and uh, we have proof of hundreds of Malaysians wow. already doing it. Okay, so you're gonna see all this. Right now, live, okay? I'm gonna go back to my laptop, okay? You're gonna learn a lot of good stuff today, and we'll. I'm really excited to start, okay? I realized this when I signed up for his webinar the second time. And uh, you can do this on your own as well. With that out of the way, let's review this monstrosity. Welcome, welcome. Just to clarify, I am not Zerntan, and this segment is not live. Yes, you're not Zerntan. In fact, you're someone who is quite a prominent e-commerce guru once upon a time. But we'll come back to you in a bit. But you're at the right place, okay? Your live class is starting real soon. And if you're watching this, Zern is still getting ready. No, he doesn't. But we will begin shortly. Now I want you to ask yourself one question. Imagine what life would be like if you could create a 10,000 per month income from a laptop, just like all these people have. The moment they applied what's inside of the free training today, they've been able to create results like this, okay? So I want to ask you, what if you could create a 10,000 per month income from your laptop? What would you do? How would life be? It's been... 30 seconds into the video, and we've already been served with a lot of information. Talk about dogpiling numerous amounts of information at once. Going back to the about page, we get to see that he started off by introducing who he is. Notice that you can't spell entrepreneur correctly. This is the first thing you read when you go to this page. Unfortunately, that is not the only spelling mistake he does. He has several more though, so on top of many grammatical mistakes and too much word repetition that wasn't needed. Maybe it's an honest mistake, or maybe he just doesn't care enough to exude the professional look to his website. 
whatever the reason it may be, this is an unacceptable mistake to have, especially if you want to present yourself as a professional e-commerce guru. With the colossal amount of spelling and grammatical mistakes Cernton has in this page alone, you can't help but wonder why he even bothered having his own website in the first place. Even when English isn't his strong suit, you would think that he could at least hire someone to proofread his story. I mean, he is a successful e-commerce guru, right? If this is how Zern Tun displayed his professional image to other people, then he failed miserably in that regard. With that out of the way, we at once got introduced to a long sub-story of Zern Tun's life. He started off by telling us that his whole life is dark and depressing. See, growing up, I was compared to my perfect sister all the time. My elder sister excelled in studies, music, sports, you name it, she can achieve it. She used to have a shelf packed full with trophies, medals and awards right in our house. And naturally, my parents were extremely proud of her. And what about me? I was never exceptional at anything, okay? According to him, he wasn't the brightest kid in school. He always scored last in his class rankings every year, and not to mention that he was very terrible in extracurricular activity in sports. Such unfortunate luck he was born with that his teachers told him that he will never succeed in life. Even his dad thought the same. I was even told, when you grow up, then you're gonna be a garbage collector, okay? My dad told me that. Eventually, he graduated from his secondary, and boy was he happy to leave. He barely passed through school, and but he did it anyway. This is the stage of his life in which he wanted to apply for college, just like any other kid that age would do. He started filling out college applications for that purpose, hoping that at least one of them can accept him. And that's exactly what he did, submitting college application. After application, after application. Having done all of that, it is time for his waiting phase. And he waited, and waited, and waited, and waited. One month later, still zero replies. Okay, hmm, maybe I just had to wait a little longer, okay? I told myself, because maybe they're they are having all these uh, new student applications coming in, okay? So I waited for another two full months, no replies from any colleges, okay? I was totally crushed because I'm looking at all my classmates getting into college, but for me, I didn't hear a single thing back. At that moment, he had an epiphany that maybe all of the colleges that he applied for is trying to tell him something. They were trying to tell him that he would never be accepted into college. His story might sound tragic to you at first, and you would be inclined to start feeling sorry for this person. But what if I tell you that his story of not being able to enter any colleges might not be true at all? Check out this one. This is from his former Instagram handle, at Zern De Fern. He included that Instagram handle in his live webinar, in fact. So, naturally, I wanted to try and take a closer look into that Instagram account. And surprise, surprise. There's a lot of incriminating information about Zern Tan that can put his whole story into question. Like this one. Now, take a look at the garb he wore that day, and look at the scroll he held, and the smile he donned that time. That place is not your average run-of-the-mill hall. It's grand, and it's expensive. A wonderful venue for what looked like a convocation ceremony. All of that is a far cry to a statement that his life before being a successful e-commerce guru is dark and depressing. That he was a failure in his class, his studies, and his life. What is this supposed to mean, and how can he explain this? Is the story that he told us have been a complete lie all along? Unfortunately, that's not the only discrepancy that can be found in his story. In fact, there's a couple more that I would like to show you, so I suggest you stick around for more. After supposedly feeling crushed for not being able to get into any college whatsoever, Zern was left with no choice. 
the only way forward for him that time is for him to be a physical exercise teacher in an international school. He felt embarrassed in a way. All of his friends wanted to become doctors, lawyers, engineers, and many more exciting jobs out there. Well, here he is, applying for a job that supposedly no one wanted to take. As time goes on, Zern also started to realize something. He saw that his peers were getting job promotions, subsequently progressing in their respective careers. One important detail that he can't seem to shake off is the fact that they were getting pay increments at their jobs on a yearly basis. But what about me? After five full years of working as a teacher, I was working hard, bored out of my mind, hating my job, but I was committed to make this work. I kept doing the same thing over and over again, and I was still being paid the same exact salary for the entire five years. I had no advancement in my job at all. I was still doing the same thing, same pay. I felt horrible. I put in so much work every single day, and yet other people were advancing, but I was not, right? I was still getting paid the same thing after five years. Because of the fact that his income is stagnating for five full years, he decided to venture into business to earn extra money. What he had in mind is to be a social media manager, someone who runs social media accounts for other businesses. Consider it as a side job for him of sorts. But long story short, he also fell in that endeavor. So. The story that he told us thus far had supposedly solidified his point that his life prior to being a serial entrepreneur is dark and depressing. He's a failure in school, he failed to go into college, he failed to get a promotion and work, and he failed in his first business venture. I felt like a massive failure my entire life and that was my reality. But the reality is, Zern Tan had lied and left out some important information about his past. He lied about not going into college, and he didn't elaborate how he became a physical education teacher in an international school of all places. And that's only the first part of his story. There's a lot more things that I will point out in this video that had led me to believe that he's not a trustworthy man to pay at least 500 US dollars for. But before we delve deep into his next act of the story, let me bring your attention back to this part of the webinar where I found his personal Instagram handle. Let's talk about it for a moment. If you intend on finding this Instagram handle right now, I regret to inform you that you're out of luck. Let me explain. His public Instagram account was public when I first looked at it around September of 2019. As you can see, he had 10,000 followers at the time, and he didn't shy away from calling himself the founder of Heroist. A couple of days later, I realized that his personal Instagram handle went private and was bummed for not being able to have a closer look to corroborate his story. Then, when Christmas of 2019 kicked in, I no longer see his personal Instagram account anymore. The only thing left is his official Instagram handle that advertised his e-commerce coaching courses. There are two possibilities that I could think of as to why he did it. One, he probably changed his personal Instagram handle to something more obscure. Or two, he realized that there's too much incriminating information about him in it and realized that he has to get rid of it. Either way, there's not much I could do about it apart from using whatever information I had recovered in that Instagram account back in September last year. I know this is a lot of information that had to be digested. Unfortunately, as said before, there's much more to talk about this guy, and I'm already 11 pages into the script. In the next part, let's talk about his turning point to become an e-commerce guru and how his business model works. It's going to get complicated from here. You might be wondering as to why I dissected his backstory first, and what relevance does it have to the title of this video. The reason why I tackled his backstory before anything else is because I wanted to illustrate just how shady his methods are to sell at least 500 US dollars worth of his coaching courses. Zern's motivation in using his life story to hook other people to buy his coaching lessons is very suspicious and manipulative. 
It seems to me that he was trying to use his life story to gain sympathy from other people that are considering buying his course. And it also seems like an attempt by Zern to try and build an emotional connection to the audience, increasing his odds of pulling them into his camp. Allow me to demonstrate. Let's go down to the turning point of his about page to lay out some context to what we're about to see and to skip through the useless filler. At that time, Zern was still a physical education teacher and was bringing his students to Cambodia on a school trip. He was seated right next to this young punk called Mr. X. At some point, he peeked at Mr. X's laptop screen and was shocked to see that he made approximately 230,427 US dollars and 80 cents out of selling the bracelet that Zern coincidentally have online. Here is the series of clips of him talking about his experience after realizing the fact that Mr. X had made that amount of cash. At that moment, I was completely dumbfounded. This freaking kid who looks like he has zero achievement in life is doing $230,427.90 US dollars in a single month. And the month hasn't even ended yet. I won't lie. I was mad, I was furious, but I needed to know what this kid X was doing because if this little young punk could do it, so could I. I was like, dude, no freaking way, you, you have to teach me what you're doing. And X replied to me, he said, I'm sorry, I don't do coaching, not my thing. So I was literally begging this kid like a crazy person for I'm sure about at least a 15 a good 15 minutes and X looked really really annoyed and it was kind of awkward since we had to sit through the entire flight together but I didn't care because I knew this was an opportunity of a lifetime I couldn't stand being a failure any longer and it happened X finally lets out a huge sigh and then he said okay fine one call a week for $500 USD per month I'll only do it under one condition you gotta be fully committed for at least a full year you have to go all in on this and promise me you'll write down as much notes as you can when we do get on the calls promise me you will not give up even if you're failing even if you cry even if you can't figure it out and you want to pull out your hair promise me you'll spend every waking moment obsessing over making this happen promise me all of this then i'll do the calls with you all i could think of was there's no turning back okay so i told mr x i'm in i'm all in let's do this so he paid 500 US dollars per month for Mr. X's coaching courses. He followed through every single advice that Mr. X had gave out to him. And since then, his profits just keeps on snowballing. That is the entire context. Now let's get down to the premise of his main argument for selling his course. From there, we'll be able to point out the flaws and fallacies of his argument. So let me ask you a question. Do you think my investment in X's coaching program was worth my 500 US dollars? Of course, right? Do you think going all in a moment, I believe it's possible was worth it? Yes, of course, right? So, remember as kids, we all wanted to be superheroes and along the way, we grew up and we lost our imagination and we lost our dreams. And guess what? It doesn't matter how many times you failed or how old you are, I'm here to tell you that your dreams are still possible if you still believe. That's why I created the hero movement, right? I'm here to help you believe in your dreams again. If every day, you, you see people just like you getting results, people just like you are starting to live their hero life surrounded by people who are just like you becoming new success stories every single day. There's no other choice for you to believe that if he or she can, I can too. So once you're 100% convinced you can do it, you're guaranteed to make it work. There are a couple of problems that I can find in this argument. For one, Zern is trying to frame the situation as if paying a hefty sum of money to an entrepreneur guru is the only way for you to turn your life around. In a way, it influences people who are struggling financially to pay that amount of cash for a dream that they will be able to pull themselves out of abject poverty. It doesn't matter if Zern Tan had pointed out to the audience that his webinar is not a get-rich-quick scheme at the beginning. His entire point is nullified the second he started talking about his sub story, his turning point in life when he met Mr. X, and asking the viewer if his $500 investment to Mr. X is worth it. By then, 
people have already forgotten about the one and only disclaimer he gave out. They're already so absorbed to the fact that paying for his course would change their life for the better. And I find it problematic that he can't seem to realize that some people may look at his methods as just dirty manipulation. Two, his entire premise crumbles once you realize that he might be using this story as an excuse to be your coach or mentor. People like CERN needs to have a reason why others should trust his wisdom and expertise. And one way for him to gain that trust is to frame himself as some kind of a future mentor to those who paid for his course, even when he didn't explicitly said so. But if you think that this point is very vague and doesn't hold much water, then I don't blame you. This type of webinar is designed to be vague about the technicalities and more about convincing people to buy courses. But I don't really have to look further to prove what I'm talking about. Why do people struggle financially? Hey, it's Zern Tan here and I can tell you there are many reasons why. Uh, I don't want to oversimplify it. But from my experience, it was because I was not trained. I wasn't taught how to do it, right? Everything in life, you have to be taught or you have to, be, you have to learn and train how to do it step by step. And I wish someone had told me, Zern, do e-commerce. It's the next big thing. I wish someone had told me that. And I had to find my own mentors, learn through the hard way, through my own experiences, right? Let me be clear with you. Mentorship isn't wrong. But you need to be cautious when someone is offering to become a mentor and wanting to pay a serious amount of cash for that. When these two elements are involved, there's a high chance that you're getting scammed by a con artist. You don't really have to profit off of people if you want to become a mentor to someone. If you're sincere in wanting to help people out financially, there's no need for you to offer these atrociously expensive coaching packages. But I suppose selling shovels is much more profitable during a gold rush than digging for gold itself. And three, I can't help but scoff at fake gurus such as Zern Tan using this I just want to help you line as an excuse to sell their courses. Because why? Zern Tan was built differently from the rest of those fake gurus out there, right? I mean, in the webinar, he did tell the audience that he would usually charge $2,997 outside of his webinar at the very least. But because you're here, because I want to send the elevator back down to others, because I want you to create your hero life within the next 30 to 60 days, I'm only going to charge you $497 today or five payments of $147, okay? So what I encourage you to do right now is to get started, click on the alpha button, on the right hand side, it should be showing in your chat right now. Click on it and you need to get started right now because this is truly a limited time offer and this will go fast. Of course, because kindness has a time limit after all. Now that we've established what's wrong with the statement given by Zern Tan, now we want to know what type of side hustle he's been doing before creating Heroist. So who am I to teach you all this stuff, right? Okay, I built multiple companies. At the bottom is a picture of me with Namewee. He's a famous celebrity from Malaysia. I am from Malaysia, by the way. I own companies around the world, like my Singapore company and bank transactions. I showed you at the beginning of the webinar, but I am from Malaysia. And the other photos are an influencer marketing agency in Malaysia. And these are some of our female influencers inside of my company. So what company is he talking about? Well, he was talking about millennials, of course. Now, this is the company he founded alongside a man named Cruz Time. How do I know that he is a co-founder for Millennials? When you go to their Facebook page and see the picture that they've posted, you can see two similar posters, one for Cruz Time and another for Zern Tan. And you can see one similarity that they had. While it's true that both of them are founders for Millennials, don't get confused because Krustan is the actual Don of this company, not Zern. If you do a little digging, you will start to realize that Krustan still has an active presence for millennials, while Zern Tan was made scarce from the company for quite some time. And I was left wondering why that was the case. But 
in the end, I don't have a definitive answer for that. Stop. Now, one thing I forgot to mention about、um, millennials is that millennials didn't start off as a modeling company.、Um, it started off as an e commerce company,、uh, just like Heroist.、Um, I just found out about it about a couple days ago. I was in the middle of editing this video. The deadline is approaching, but it's fine because、um, I'm going to include it now. So here it goes. Hi, guys. My name is Zern, and that is my company, Millennials. And this is a very special machine. Every time you put in $1, it gives you back $3. Now, if you had this machine, how much money would you put in? And actually, this is what we have in e commerce, where me and my students have this machine where every time we invest, we get three times in return or even more sometimes. So, this is the secret. First, we take products from China and we mark it up by five times and then we sell it to the USA. So, for example, if I take a product that's $5 in China, I'll mark it up to $25 and I'll sell it to the USA. And that makes me $20 in profit. So let's say every day you are getting two sales. So two sales a day, and each sale is $20 profit. And you do this for one whole month, 30 days. You will get a total of $1,200 USD. After you convert it to ringgit, it will be 4,800 ringgit. And that is only from two sales. Imagine you can replace your salary with only two sales a day. But what if you increase this to three sales? This figure goes up. You increase it to five sales. This figure goes up. You increase it to ten sales, and now you're making twenty-four thousand ringgit in one month. It's very easy to do. It's very simple. It's low cost because you do not pay for anything unless your customer pays you first for the order. It's low risk because you do not keep any of the products. You do not have any stock. You do not have any inventory, and the supplier handles all the packaging and shipping. It's very easy to do. I have over fifty students now. And I'm opening ten more slots to take in ten new students. And if you want to be one of my students, you can apply below for a breakthrough session where I get on the phone with you one on one for forty five minutes, and I tell you the secrets and step by step on how to do e commerce. Okay,、um, you get the idea. And do you know that they also sell、uh, <laughs> a package course、uh, if you sign up for? Millennials coaching course once upon a time before they、uh, eventually turn into a modeling company.、Um, yeah. Hey, what's going on? This and I'm just gonna cut to the chase in this video because frankly, you don't have a lot of time to make a decision on the M Commerce coaching program, right? This page, and now the only question is if you're gonna hop in this risk-free investment. And this is not like going, you know, going to Tesco and buying TV set. This is not like buying groceries. Once you buy, the money is gone. This is an investment. Remember, it, it's just like you're on the stock market floor right now, right? And you're seeing people killing it with an investment, just like doing really, really well. But the one reason you might not hop in is because you don't want to lose that money. Well, look, this this investment money is back. That means this. Investment money is completely insured. That means if you can't inside the program, you're not satisfied with your investment. We refund you the money and even let you keep the program. And the reason we can do that is because when people invest in us, they get their investment back. I can go through all the results. You can go through them at the bottom of this page. And so your only choice right now is not whether to take a risk or not because. All you're risking is just a little bit of time. The real risk here is whether you want to risk paying two thousand dollars more. And when this countdown timer ends, you will lose this opportunity forever. And this is really hot right now. I don't know if it's gonna be hot a year from now. If the people are going, the people are gonna start right now are going to be once controlling the market for sure. Yeah, um, you get the point. So, onward to the main video. Let's go back to the poster featuring Zern. We get to see his face, his self-introduction, and a quote from what looks like a motivational speaker praising Zern. You can pause the video if you want to read it in detail. But there's one thing that I wanted to point out. 
and this is me being featured by Tom Hot, best-selling author and inter international speaker. Really nice guy, and yeah, that's some of the things that I have achieved over the past few years. See that quote from Tom Hot. I scoured through the internet trying to find this exact quote from Tom Hopt, laying endorsement for Zern Tan. As you might have guessed, I have no luck finding it. So I go out of my way to contact him via email, asking for clarification. I asked him if he had ever personally known or met Zern before, and if he had ever explicitly laid any kind of open endorsement to him. Unfortunately, I wasn't even allowed to show you the screenshots of the emails between me and Tom Hopped. How can I possibly do it? He made sure to put a disclaimer below each reply he sent me about him being protected under the Australian Telecommunications Act of 1997. But if you must know, I'll show you the difference between the first version of Zern Tan's webinar and his newer third version. From there, I think you can draw your own conclusion as to what had happened after I contacted Tom Hopped. As you can see on the top, on vacations to various destinations as well. And this is me being featured by Tom Hopped, best-selling author and inter international speaker. Really nice guy. And yeah, that's some of the things that I have achieved over the past few years. But let me tell you the truth, things weren't always this way, yeah? So this is me at age four. As you can see on the top, on vacations, to various destinations but let me tell you the truth things weren't always this way yeah so this is me at age four that cool we now know that one of the companies he founded is millennials what else he did say earlier that he had built multiple companies around the world so where is it where's the proof nobody knows there's no way for us to verify that claim other than his own mouth I've already said this before, but once you invest your money into a course that promised you good returns, and you didn't even get what was advertised, there's little chance for you to pull back. You wanted to believe that you're right when it comes to investing on these gurus, but when their courses failed you, you're led to believe that the problem comes from you. And you will be led to spend more and more of your precious money on a promise that will never come. This is the turning point that you should be extremely cautious of. This warning is applicable not just to Zernton's courses, but to any fake online guru's courses you've come across. I'm not saying that Zernton had done all of this, because frankly, I don't have any evidence to suggest that he blamed his followers for not being able to bring in the dough for themselves. If he didn't do it, then good for him. However, I couldn't help wondering to myself that something was still amiss in all of this. But then I realized that there are more things to be said about his courses and the methods he used to hook people in. Let's talk about manipulation. This topic is what prompted me to do this video in the first place because Zerntan's courses are rife with so much manipulation and predatory behavior, whether he realized this or not. We'll be breaking this down into several points for brevity's sake. Without further ado, let's get down to business. This type of manipulation was used by Zerntan in both of his ads and his pre-recorded webinar. The latter is the one in which this tactic was used in full effect, in tandem with the second point that I wanted to make later on. If you need any examples for this point, look no further than his sob story. He tells people of the lowest points of his life to garner sympathy and to try conjuring this image that he was just like you before. It is to say that he just wants to be as relatable to an average Joe as much as possible and he tells them the turning point of how he became successful from Mr. X's coaching lesson to justify his coaching lessons to you. If this example doesn't convince you yet, here's a couple of clips from his pre-recorded webinar that proves what I just said. What I want you to do right now is click on the button and get started right now because this is it, this is your time, okay? Sometimes it is the smallest decision that will change your life forever. 
click that button right now log in i want to see you inside of the community so what you have to do is click on that button and sign up right now because this is risk free and i made it as easy as possible for you and this is the decision that you have to make right now and get your life to get a complete shift in your life to transform your life to like how hundreds and hundreds of people that i've showed you today because i know you want this i know you're hungry i know you want to make a change in your life what you have to do right now is click on that button and just trust me on this all right it works every time and if you think that that's the only thing that he did then i have some bad news for you it gets worse so let's just walk through your choices real quick so number one option number one is do actually nothing so you know what happens if you do nothing most people Lightly, you go back to whatever you were doing your life stays exactly the same keep living your current life paycheck to paycheck just like my life before meeting my first mentor for the next 5 10 20 30 years or you try this on your own and waste tens of thousands of dollars if i were to be able to get all these information get coaching i would have switched my life from being called and proven a failure over and over again to a life of freedom abundance and choice and finally prove everyone wrong it's crazy, all right? And worst case scenario for you, if you do nothing, you miss out the opportunity of your life. Five to ten years later, instead of living your dream life, you ask yourself, what if? What if I believed in my dreams being possible? What if I made the decision to say yes today? All right? You're five to ten years later, you're like somewhere like thinking back, like, huh, what if this actually worked, you know? Option two, you can click the button and give this a shot and i will ask you to try this out and most likely what will happen is you get results like hundreds of malaysians have i've shown you a few of them just now and you know you can create the income you desire and live the life that you want all this in a few weeks or the worst case scenario is you take action you don't get results and i give you a full refund plus i give you another hundred dollars you know you've at least given this an honest attempt you know what i have no regrets at least i've tried it and i got a hundred dollars and that's honestly the worst case of the worst that can happen if you click that button and enroll today as said before this type of manipulation cannot manifest itself into full potential unless you pair it out with the first point that I've made. Combining both of these tactics can elicit the sense of urgency and panic for the viewer to do the things that others wanted. It's bad enough for someone like Zern Tan tapping into your emotions to build personal trust with you. It's made much worse by the fact that you are given what seemed like a huge discount for a limited amount of time. Supposedly, once it expires, the deal's gone and you can no longer claim it. But what if I tell you that those offers never went away? Now I know what you're wondering. Why do they feel the need to put a countdown timer in the first place? The answer is quite simple. They needed to do this to add artificial scarcity to their offerings. Such a move usually means their course isn't good enough to withstand any type of critical thought whatsoever. And every time the fake gurus deployed this tactic, people were more likely to buy their coaching courses, not because they believe that they are credible and trustworthy, but because they are compelled to make a choice in a short time. There is no way people could have made an informed decision when they are only afforded with such limited time to think this through. And it speaks volumes just how scared people like Zern are with the prospect of being put under heavy scrutiny. As you can probably guess, Zerntan included a lot of testimonials from a lot of people, be it in the form of video or a screenshot. But all of them have one thing in common. There's no way for people outside to know things such as the name of their business and auditing how much they earned. Such obscurity for details like these made the collection of testimonials presented almost meaningless and vapid. It could be true, but I advise you not to put much stock in what they have to say. Always proceed with caution and skepticism. And don't forget that Zerntan supposedly has a total of 568 testimonials in his reviews page. Can you guess how many of it actually cut feature in that page? Only 19 videos. 
when he only has this little to show after boasting how many reviews he's garnered, you knew something was up. It gives an impression that Zern handpicked the very few who are deemed successful in his courses and conveniently forget to include the rest of them. I don't think it's an accident. I do believe he knows what he's doing, but he's free to prove me wrong with the assumption I've made. While we're on the topic of testimonials, I would like to point one instance in which Zerntan used a 15-year-old kid as a testimonial of his coaching success. So this is a short interview I did with one of our students. His name is... He's only 15 years old this year and he is from Kuching, Sarawak. So far, from the day he started until today, he's made 45,000 US dollars and this guy is only 15 years old. This is a short clip of what he has to say. Actually, I just got into the course, started my store and then started running ads. So right now, collectively, how much have you made? I'll be honest with you, I don't know which one is worse. Fabricating another story to make it seem that the course is easy to follow, that a kid could rake in handsome profits, or the story is true, and Zern decided to use a kid to prove his course's legitimacy. In my opinion, it's shady to use a kid to prove that the course is legit. And I'm saying this not just to Zern Tan, but to those fake gurus who pulled off this same manipulative shtick. There are some things that kids simply cannot do. Giving consent to share their personal information is one of them. There is a reason why parental consent exists. It will be a different story altogether had the parents already consented to Zern sharing their kids information. But a big part of me doubts that they would ever allow that to happen to their kid. The fact that Zern didn't see any problems doing so shows how little he cared about the kid's right to privacy. And more importantly, it just goes to show how deep he's willing to dig himself deeper into his hole, disregarding all common sense and integrity he had left, all because he wanted to pull people into his coaching courses. The worst part about this is that if this kid exists, this kid will forever be clowned on by the internet for even having ties with Zerntan. And it's not even the kid's fault. In every single offer you see on the internet that is too good to be true, there will always be a catch. The same thing applies to Zerntan's Shop Helper Academy course. But to understand what I'm getting at, we have to see what he has to say about refunds. So, we have a company policy that says if we can't make you money, then we don't deserve yours, alright? So everything right here comes with a 30-day guarantee. So you get started today, you don't make money, and we'll give you your money back, okay? But I decided, you know what, maybe some people will take a little longer. I decided to make this offer even better. So I'm going to give you a 60-day guarantee instead. So you get to try it out for 60 days, completely risk-free, and I decided to make this even better. If you don't see results, maybe you don't believe me yet in this whole shop helper thing so i want you to just try it out and believe it for yourself when you see the results that are coming in into your email into your shopify app when you see the shoppers coming in then you will start believing it right so i made this even better i'm going to do you even better if you don't see results if you apply what i'm saying if you don't see results i'm going to give you an extra hundred dollars and say sorry i didn't deliver you know you basically get to keep a free hundred dollars if you just sign up today Try it, you don't make any money, you basically get a free hundred dollars, that's it, alright? So there's no way you can lose here, okay? Except that it wasn't as straightforward as you might think. Let's examine Heroist's Terms of Service page and go down to their refund policies. As you can see, you can get out of this Shop Helper Academy without a hitch within three days after purchase. However, once the grace period is over and you want to get out of this course, Heroes will hold on to you with a vice-like grip. If you're very insistent on dropping this course after the fact, you have to meet a set of actions required for you to do so. A set of roadblocks, if you may. Upon reading further into it, one of the requirements stipulated wanting you to pay at least 250 US dollars in Facebook ads to opt out of the Shop Helper Academy program. As if paying at least $500 is not expensive enough, you have to pay extra in Facebook ads to prove that you've made an honest attempt, quote unquote. I mean, what happened to more than 37 ways to attract customers without Facebook ads like he said in his webinar? Well? If you don't want to run Facebook ads, we got 
over 37 ways for you to attract shoppers to your store for free and community to support you along the way and coaches to support you along the way so truly extremely different from other programs wait are you trying to tell me that those 37 ways to attract shoppers to your store without spending a single cent in facebook ads don't work at all seems like it otherwise cern wouldn't ask you to spend at least 250 us dollars in facebook ads if it actually worked and that is if you want to withdraw from his course he never tell you this directly now, did he? And some of those requirements that he listed out are very arbitrary at best. Sure, he will tell you that he doesn't have the slightest intention of withholding refunds to other people who have made an honest attempt. But how do you measure an honest attempt, really? You can do everything they told you to do and there's a chance that they will not grant you any refunds the way these policies were laid out. Because guess what? Heroes are the ones who gets to decide how much of an honest attempt is enough. Not you. Those types of policies were designed to be vague because it gives them an easier time spinning an excuse for you to stay put. No matter how you look at it, you don't have a say nor power in this matter. And that is how it was intended to be. Not everyone has the same talents and skill sets. It's who we are as humans. Not everyone can code, edit videos, cook, carpenting, and so much more with the same amount of proficiency and dexterity. And that's okay. No one has a talent for everything, and no one can succeed at whatever they try, no matter how hard they try. Take me, for example. I may be good with computers, but I'm not so good with things such as chemistry and biology. And no matter how many times I try to pay attention in class, meeting my teachers and mentors and try multiple avenues to be smarter in those two subjects, I just can't get better. I can relate to the feeling of frustration that comes after seeing all your efforts amount to so little progress. Oftentimes, it's fruitless. And for the longest time, I felt bitter over my inability to be just like my peers who are smarter. But as I scoured through the internet looking for material for this video, I came across an article from Mike Bundrant. The article that I've read detailed six signs that you've been scammed by a fake guru. But one thing stood out to me, and I think you might find it interesting as well. According to Mike, it doesn't really matter if you're not a jack of all trades. It's fine knowing and learning from your limitations. To be a self-aware adult, you have to understand your limitations. And I have to say, there is truth with what Mike has to say. The same rule applies to e-commerce as well. Not everyone has the proficiency of doing this e-commerce hustle. But fake gurus such as Zern Tan will like you to believe that everyone regardless of age and expertise, has an equal opportunity to be successful in this endeavor when it's not true. I want to show you two clips of him trying to convince the audience to buy his course. Here is Exhibit A. This one shows him trying to convince young college students to buy his course. I'm still in college. Will this work for me? Yes, you have seen He's in college and you know he's 19 years old, still studying and they didn't start off with a lot of money but it still worked for them. They just follow the exact process which our coaches who are actually will be helping you, guiding you and to create your first successes as quickly as possible. So if you're still in college, I truly understand that you may be kind of doubt that you can actually make this work but absolutely you have seen people just like you make this thing work so you can too, alright? And here is Exhibit B. This time, it shows him trying to convince older people with grandchildren to buy his course. And I must say, hearing him trying to coax older people to buy his course really makes my skin crawl. I am older and have grandchildren. Can we start? Okay, yes. The program 
has like all kinds of people who are really really young sometimes like 17 year old and there's people who is like 60 plus okay so honestly if you are older and slower with technology things like that you might take a little longer however you can always ask the children to take a look at the videos and just follow along because it isn't hard to do it it is super super simple for them I'm not sure if it's super super simple for you but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it for you just click a few buttons there's no coding none of that you can watch a video you can click around on Facebook you can actually know how to do it already it is just mental blockages sometimes right cuz if we see something new we have some kind of mental blockage especially if you're older how however if it's actually really really simple if you want to do it you can pass it to your kids your children say to them can you help me build this thing there's videos and tutorials 10 to 15 minutes can you help me out then they'll be able to do it easily okay i promise you that they'll be able to do it easily because there is no special skills needed and you have to do all you have to do is click around on the interface that's it okay now i wouldn't go around and say that i have a lot of knowledge about e-commerce the way zern does because i obviously don't but even i could see that there's risks involved with this whole e-commerce charade think of it this way if it wasn't difficult to tap into this industry, then every business would be successful. And if it wasn't challenging for a commoner like you and me, then everyone would be a business owner. Unfortunately, we don't live in that kind of world. The fact that he's trying to paint this field as if it's the easiest thing for people to tap into is just misleading. I don't care if Zern has all the experience in the world to teach people for their success in e-commerce. He should know better not to give people that false sense of hope and confidence. Remember, he did say once in his webinar that his course is not a get-rich-quick scheme and that it is not as simple as doing nothing and make money. But the way he trumped up that course to people for so many times by the end of the webinar as if following his courses is a surefire way for everyone to obtain quick results in e-commerce, confuses me. That behavior ran in direct contradiction with the advice he gave out just two hours ago in his webinar, and I genuinely don't know if he even believed in his own advice. But guess what? I'm done talking about his manipulation tactics, because frankly, the more I talk about it, the more depressed I became. Let's talk about something else, shall we? You want to know a fun little fact that I just realized? It's in the Zern's poster that I've shown you earlier. Do you realize that there's a name that I've intentionally censored in this poster? I'm trying to make this as a surprise for the end of this video. And besides, I'm trying to make good with the promise I made around the beginning of the video talking about this mysterious man. Welcome, just to clarify, I am not Zerntan and this segment is not live. Yes, you're not Zerntan. In fact, you're someone who is quite a prominent e-commerce guru once upon a time. But we'll come back to you in a bit. And the name of the man that we're going to talk about is a man named Kaysen Bo. And just like Zern, Kaysen has a very intriguing history to explore. So if I were to go back five years, six years, seven years from now, from when I first got started, what would be the one thing that I tell myself, right? That would be to get on a coaching program. This is incredibly important, right? Having a coach, having a mentor is like driving with ways, right? It will constantly push you back to the right path. And if you don't have that, if you're relying on things like, you know, courses and just, uh, you know, random YouTube videos and just, uh, googling stuff it it will you take you much 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 longer and you will lose much more money as opposed to getting someone to guide you to give you one-on-one -on -one attention to help you steer your way towards your goal and this is incredibly important if you're serious about your goals almost all the top achievers in this world has a coach even the top of the top people for example tiger woods has a coach you know all these top people have a coach regardless of what level Case and Bo, co-founder of Heroist, a serial entrepreneur, and an international bestseller that had received the award for W Plus Product of the Year. If you're willing to do detective work like me, the first thing you want to know is knowing who he is. 
A bit of googling that took about 5 seconds or so proves that no such awards exist. But wait, he'll tell you that you got featured in Yahoo and Reuters, but you can't seem to find articles about him, nor does he provide people with the said articles. And one other thing that he also mentioned before is the fact that he uh, was featured in uh, major uh, American TV cable companies like ABC, NBC, Fox, CBS, all that kind of stuff. Not only you can't find any kind of footage or what anything of that sort to prove that he was featured in uh, in any of these um, TV stations. He hired some uh, some woman from Fiverr to narrate this this lie of him being like a number one authority figure. Whatever, you just 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 watch this. Hello and welcome. Case and Bow's strategy session is only for real action takers who want a five to ten thousand dollar a month internet business within the next ninety days. You're about to hear from the number one authority in building online businesses from scratch. Case and Bow has been featured on ABC, NBC, Fox, CBS, and he has helped thousands of internet marketers build their businesses online through his personal coaching, partnership programs, live workshops, and training courses. Case and Bow is also the ranked number one vendor on the whole of Warrior Plus. You can see the huge amounts of success stories Kaysen has created right below this video. And he wants you to be his next success. Here's a short message from Case and Bo. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on? Case and Bo here. If you're watching this video, congratulations because you're one of the few who I carefully selected among just hundreds and hundreds of applicants to be part of my one-on-one -on -one coaching and partnership program. Okay? Here's the thing, so far all my students who go through my coaching and partnership program become very successful or they're quickly reaching the level of success and freedom that they truly desire. Alright, so you can see some of the success stories that I've created below and I want to keep this successful track record and help every single one of my students get the results that they truly want as quickly as possible. That's why I only work with a small handful of students each time so I can ensure every single student gets phenomenal results, alright? So this is why I'm pretty selective uh, to ensure each student has the right attitude and mindset for success, okay? So the strategy, the strategy session you're about to sign up for, right? It will be just a chat to see if you're a good fit and if we can work together to build the success, freedom and results that you want based on your requirements, okay? So if that sounds good to you, Feel free to click the link below, reserve whichever slot works best for you and the system will actually block out the slots that are already taken so whichever slots are available, they are available, alright? So and I'll talk to you soon. You go down to his broken website and found the list of companies he was featured in, some of which appeared twice, and none of them are real companies. You can't even find any of their company names on the internet. Then you decided to go to his Facebook page. His about page might just be a good place as any to read his comprehensive story. Until you realize that you were hit with a sense of deja vu. Then, it clicked to you that the entire format for his about page on Facebook is reminiscent of Zern Tan's about page in Heroist. I don't think it's such a biggie, but I think it's interesting to point that one out. He has the self-introduction, his epiphany, his turning point, the time when he earned his first three dollars, the four success lessons, looking to the future, all the same. But we're only just scratching the surface of who this guy is. There's more things to be said about Kaysen than just his shady credentials. He didn't come into the fake guru scene at the same time as Zern Tan. He comes in way earlier than Zern himself, around 2014 or so. Kaysen tried to sell his course called Easier Than Fiverr alongside a man named Gerald So. This course is a system put together by both of the aforementioned individuals, which claims to make up to $80 per day without any investment using the system. You don't need a website, nor do you have to expose your personal information. All the time you need to put into the system is only 20 minutes per day. How do I know this? 
If you're typing in the name Kaysenbo on any designated search engines you use, you can take a glimpse of what people have to say about him, starting from Loyat forums to an article review from Holy Smoke. When you read through both of these, you started to realize that Kaysen didn't exactly rake in the best track record out there. And if you're one with a keen eye, you'll realize that people forgot to talk about the co-author of the Easier Than Fiverr course, Gerald So. This surprised me because his name was emblazoned alongside Kaysen's name in their products. Considering the circumstances, you would think that people would talk about his involvement in Kaysen's course, but that doesn't seem to be the case. People just simply don't pay attention to him, for one reason or another. And I, for one, couldn't say much about him. But at least we got a lot of information regarding what exactly Easier Than Fiverr course is all about, and why Kaysen is considered a scammer. There's an article from Holy Smoke detailing the intricacies of this scam. I recommend you reading this article in full. The link is in the description below. In summary, the article states the overview of the course that Kaysen is trying to peddle, the one that I've already stated before. Then, the writer goes on by detailing his predatory behavior by upselling the course that was initially supposed to be free. After paying for the first course with a sum of 18 US dollars, the writer explains that Kaysen was trying to sell another package to him, this time for 16 US dollars. But the writer refused, despite being served with the same new package minutes later with a discounted price. Throughout Kaysen's course video, he tried to justify to others why they should buy his new package, juxtaposing it with his easier than Fiverr course. Kaysen proceeds by telling people that this new course he was offering will be able to make several thousands of dollars for the user by just doing nothing but just easy copy and paste work for just a few minutes every single day. The writer noted that not even a single one of the videos that Kaysen provided had any practical piece of advice or anything to show that he had any viable business online that made him the number of earnings he was always claiming. Sound familiar to you? It sure does. It's the same problem that was pointed out to Zerntan earlier in this video. The apple just doesn't fall far from the tree. He learned from the best after all. And speaking of which, you want to know what Kaysen did in each of the beginning of the clips. According to the writer, boring talk and an inspiration and an even more annoying talk on Source Market. There are no sales secrets to be had here, but boring filler. All of that is to say that his course is just low effort, low quality product bundled in an 18 US dollar package. It's just that bad. And finally, the writer ends his rant by explaining his intentions of writing the piece in the first place. To warn other people from taking Kaysen's course and falling for the scam that the writer themselves did. One final thing I would like to know about is this. Why does Zern Tan choose Kaysenbo as his partner in business for Heroist? We don't exactly know his true intentions behind it, but we can infer from Zern's old public Instagram account about his thoughts on Kaysen in one of his posts as follows. Throwback to the beginning of our challenge, the moment before greatness, and also almost death. A big thank you to you, Kaysenbo, 11,000 followers, for the influence and progress you brought to my life. As you move back and find solutions, I want to personally appreciate some of your unique abilities that I have started picking up. A remarkable mind. Everyone has one, but few know how to use them to its fullest potential. Your usual approach can be summarized as follow. Study, analyze, plan, execute, evaluate, repeat. Unorthodox and unconventional. When we first met, I thought you were extremely weird. I was embarrassed to be around you, honestly. But then I started seeing your methods and reasoning. They make sense. I have become accustomed to society's system and I was one of the many that believed the lies sometimes told by the world. As you say, F, social conditioning. Humble. You keep your nose leveled and not let your head grow ever. 
always willing to support those who genuinely seek help. If only more people would listen to you, Council. Fly Charizard. <sighs> Based on the caption given by Zern, it's obvious that he speaks highly of Kaysen Bo. Kaysen might be Mr. X and Zern's sob story, albeit the circumstances in which they met each other is not so realistic. If Zern backed Mr. X like a crazy person on the flight to Cambodia, then the steward or stewardesses are going to scold him for having an attitude on an airplane. But hey, what do I know? I'm not there to witness it. But one thing is for sure. Zern and Kaysen founded Heroes Together, offered a free online training course to people through advertisements by claiming a lot of extraordinary things in the hopes of selling their course. They use underage kids as their promotional material because they somehow can't seem to find any other adults to manipulate and use. When people did show up in their live webinar, they'll begin creating artificial scarcity to make people purchase their courses by impulse, hyping their courses to oblivion, giving everyone a false narrative of how e-commerce is if people would just cough up their money for their course. And the cycle goes on and on. Predatory marketing at its finest. I wish I have a lighthearted message to give out before ending this video. In the end, I just couldn't find any other way to save this video from being a depressing piece overall. Zerntan wasn't the first, but he won't be the last of the litany of fake gurus out there in a while. And despite Heroes' business being technically legal under the Malaysian law, it still feels wrong for me to not point out the blatant manipulation they used against people. The only way for us to combat this behavior is by spreading awareness to others. But it might not be enough. While it's true that the reason why some people choose to believe in this scam is that they're greedy, I don't think those demographics are the majority. No, the majority of the people who took the scam are desperate people with financial woes. More often than not, these people are more inclined to believe in fake gurus promising financial freedom due to their dire circumstances. It's hard for most of us to imagine how it feels like to be living in abject poverty every day. Probably not being able to afford basic necessities such as food or water. Or even taking care of our kids. Unfortunately, a lot of people are like that out there. Desperate people do desperate things to stay afloat, and seeing them being easy targets for these fake gurus is just saddening. Despite what Zern Tan did was messed up on so many levels, I don't want people to go out of their way to harass them, or Kaysen, or their families, none of that. I do not support this behavior, and I openly condemn those who try to do this. The purpose of this video is to analyze and verify the backstory he gave out, as well as criticizing his egregious business practices. This was never about organizing a hate mob against him. Please, I implore you to be better than this. I'm willing to accept the fact that I might get some information wrong in this video, despite my best efforts in conveying the information as accurately as possible. If you see one, I do hope you can point it out in the comment section below. But, that was the whole point of this video, isn't it? You shouldn't believe everything that was being said on the internet. Not even from me, and certainly not Zern nor Kaysen. It's up to you to discern fact from fiction based on the information given to you. So the next time you hear someone on the internet claiming they have adopted a system, has helped them generate millions of dollars of sales online, on top of saying they want to give this knowledge away for free, ask yourself, is this person trustworthy? And what is the catch for this whole thing? It might just save you in the end. Here I was worrying about getting rich and all, but a lot of us around, we... We don't need to be rich to be happy, all right? And it's those thoughts that we're like the special one. We're the star of our own movie. We're destined for greatness. 
those are the thoughts that they want you to feel and they will prey on you for feeling that way. So go out there, do great things. Um, you know, don't be a shitty person. And if you can produce a service or a product or an idea that makes you millions, hey, congratulations. But don't fucking use these psychological tactics like these people, these fake gurus, because they're not in it to improve your life one bit. They're there to destroy your life and to make themselves look at you. 